Last time we showed you guys Internet Explorer 11, but it wasn't quite feature complete, but now it is. Let's take a closer look at some of the new features, including pinning live sites and the new reader mode. When it comes to Internet Explorer 11, there's one really cool feature that we didn't get to show you guys the last time. It's reader mode. So you can see you have a website loaded here and it's pretty normal, everything you sort of expect, except you see this little book there. And now when you tap that, it's gonna go into this full reader mode. What that does is it strips out all the extraneous information from the website and just gives you text and photos and the links. It's really gorgeous and it makes things a lot easier to read. Hitting the back button, of course, goes back to the normal view and you're as good as before. To configure that, you head into settings, scroll down and hit advanced. There you can control the font size of how the text shows up on the page. You can also control the background. So before I had it dark, so that was the full black with white text, but you can also go to bright, which is sort of an off-white color, to medium, which is a little bit brighter, and then light is just straight white with black text. I actually prefer bright as it's a little bit easier to read, but it's not too uh, strenuous on the eyes. So there you go, so now you can see it. You can see it's an off-white color with the black text, so it's not too bright and overwhelming. Overall though, a really cool feature. One of the other neat abilities you can do in Internet Explorer 11 is pinning websites to the start screen. Of course, you could always do that, but now you can see these are the sites and they flip around. That's because these are basically live tiles. So anytime you pin certain websites, like say CNN here, you can see it's bringing down the information right from the website. There was nothing there I had to configure, it just did that. So anytime you pin a site, so here's Windows Phone Central, you can see it brings down the latest headlines. That means all websites pins basically become live tiles. It's a really unique feature and takes advantage of Windows Phone 8.1. When it comes to Internet Explorer 11, one question we've been asked a lot is about tabs. Of course, we've always had tab browsing, and in fact, I can bring them up here and you can see I have six tabs. But what about having more? We were limited to six before, but let's take a look. Oh, now it's not limited to eight, in case you're wondering. It's actually infinite. You can have as many tabs as you want and switch between them all. So that is totally fixed here in 8.1. It's a nice addition, so you can just keep scrolling, and I can, in fact, add another tab here and go to any website, like, say, I guess I can go build Chromium for some reason. That's actually bringing in some links from previous websites that I went to. And in fact, if we go to tabs and scroll over, you can see other. And this is bringing in uh, basically websites that are on my other computers that are synced and open right now. So as you can see, I have Adele, my Lenovo, and my Surface. So all those are being synced with Internet Explorer 11. That is a feature part of Windows Phone 8.1 and Windows 8.1. Uh, update one has that as well. You can, of course, turn this on or off if you don't want it, but it is there and makes things easier as it basically gives you a seamless experience for browsing.